So, um, quit, separate, and disengage. These are the things we do when we let ang anger take control. And each one of these things put Jonah in a worse place than he was mm -hmm. to begin with. And we're not above that happening to us either. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this diagram here. This is what happens. Uh, we sin, and then um, we talked about the difference last week, I think, about between condemnation and conviction. And so there's condemnation, and who does that? Who brings that on us? The enemy. Mm -hmm. And we, we accept it, and so we feel shame, and then that's when we draw away, just as Jonah has done, and then that leaves us with an empty hand, empty hand, we have nothing to give anyone, because we're so self-consumed, and worse than that is an empty heart. And when we feel those things, what does it do? Leads us back into sin. It's a cycle. It's a cycle of sin. Mm -hmm. And so we sin again. And then we feel condemnation and shame and pretty soon we just keep going and keep going. And then what happens? We crash and burn, is that what that means? Sure. Okay. <laughs> or our consciences, consciences become seared. Yeah. Yeah. Dead. Seared, dead. They don't even, yeah. dull. They don't feel it anymore. Um, they, don't feel that, they don't feel that anything is wrong. And pretty soon we start to rationalize our behavior. Isn't that what Joan is doing right here? He has every right to be angry about that plant being destroyed. So uh, I call those the three Ds. We feel dirty, we feel different, and we feel disqualified. And every single one of those comes from the enemy. He doesn't want us. What? Because all these things cause us to what? Draw away. We feel dirty. We don't think we can fellowship with other believers because we just don't feel like we belong. We're different from them. We know, we know what we've done. We know that what we're caught up in, this cycle of sin. And we're certainly disqualified. We don't feel like, you know, God can't use me. Uh, and, and he never can again, so I'm just going to... I People think that way. I'll just walk away. Because God will never use me now. I'm, I've fallen so far. I'm done. I'm history. It was nice while it lasted, but this isn't going to work. I know people who have done that. And it's heartbreaking. But that's why. Because they believed the three Ds, the lies of the enemy. And they've stopped. We can't let ourselves get there. Because every one of us sitting here is capable of this happening to us. Why not rather do this? When we sin, uh, we feel conviction, and that we talked about the difference last week between condemnation and conviction. You know it's sin. First thing we do, we confess and repent. <coughs> Truly repent. That doesn't mean we're never, ever going to do it again. There, there might be habits that we have, patterns that we have, that we keep slipping into. But a repentance is, I really don't want to do this anymore. Lord, help me. Give me an escape every time I feel this urgency to whatever. Be angry or all the different, you know, fall into self-pity. All those things. Or to worry. You know, worry is even a sin. Mm -hmm. Some people have a hard time thinking that, but we, we sin more times in, in a day than we realize. Mm -hmm. Those anxious <laughs> thoughts that come upon us. Why is that sin? Lack of facing a circumstance above God. Yeah. And making it bigger than He is. Mm -hmm. God can't take care of this. I need to be anxious. I need to be worried. Because God doesn't even know 
or whatever, you know. If he does know, he doesn't care, or he's not able. We, we kind of fall into that thinking when we start feeling this way. And we may not say those words, but that's what we're saying. Um, so we confess and turn around. That's what repentance means. You're going this way, you turn around and go this way. And that forgiveness action, it's turning it back over to him. Then comes forgiveness. Then thankfulness and a sweet intimacy with Christ. Sweeter than it was before because we've been forgiven. We've, we've received that grace and we fall in love with him all over again.